All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hollow Knight. We're at the Kingdom's Edge. We have read a poem telling us tales of how to find a mushroom. We're going to find a mushroom, and then we're going to try to find the birthing place or whatever, so we can go there with the king soul. But first, we must... Yeah, we must get out of here. Boy, that, that was unusual. Hey. I don't really like dealing with both of them at the same time, but that's okay. Hot dog! So we gotta go back to the uh, fungal wastes. Oh! I dodged that. And find the mushroom, using the poem that I completely remember word for word by consulting my memory. Now, I've already found the first mushroom guy. So I think I can skip to the second line of the poem, which is, Aside the source of acid blight. So we gotta find the source of all the acid in the area, I suppose. Those stupid beetles are... Mm. Yeah, I think Adventure 2 is probably the best 3D Sonic game. Alright, where is the quickest way to the Fungal Woods? We gotta go up to the City of Tears. Specifically back to King Station. Uh, we want to go up to the higher entrance, though. Why are all these dead people's corpses just falling to the ground? It's very rude of them. Highly rude indeed. Oh. Had we really not broken into this area yet? Correct. Oh, another Wanderer's Journal. I guess I missed that all this time. Oh, those are the losers from the Colosseum. Oof, that's a little dark. Oh, I'm back in the tower. Well, that's not very nice now, is it? So I have absolutely no idea where the birthing place would be, but it would probably be a relatively important place in terms of the lore. Maybe it was in the deep nest. Okay, yeah, so I have unbreakable strength, the compass, the keen soul, and the spore shroom. I'm going to need the spore shroom for the fungal waste, so... Queen Station! I did notice you put the whole poem in Twitch chat, but it's okay. I, I remember the whole poem in my memory. No, spamming is either, like, posting bad links, or typing the same thing over and over again. Oh man, one-shotting everything. Okay. So the source of acid blight. Well, I don't remember there really being much acid in the fungal wastes. So this one actually might be a little difficult. Let's see... Yeah, there's not much acid here. And, and it doesn't show up on the map. Wait! Unless let's talk about where I got the... Maybe it's Yzma's Grove? Because that's where I originally got the thing that let me swim in acid. 
Maybe I'll head over... But that's not part of the fungal wastes, though. Also, how do I always end up with the devil's number of Geo? We're gonna we're gonna have to uh, fix that. There. I thought the mushroom was only going to appear in the fungal wastes, but maybe not. Hmm. Isma's grove or Urzma, whatever the grove where we got the thing that lets us swim in the acid. I think that's gonna be our. Uh, I think that's my best first guess. So let's go over to Kane's Station. I mean, I might stream free heart runs of some of the Zelda games, maybe? I ge generally, for Zelda games, though, I like the randomizers. Those are the most fun to stream, because it's, it's a slightly different experience every time you play, but you still get that nostalgia. It's just, like, the perfect mix. All right. Grandma! Grandma! Okay, no, this is the wrong way, because that cuts through the sewers. We don't want to cut past the sewers, we want to actually go through the sewers. I can probably dash through the big guys. I could, the rabbit, I could. Alright. Yeah, we gotta get to Isma's Grove. I do have a simple key. I'm gonna be traveling all over the place, so I'll be I'll be keeping a lookout for where the key might need to go. Get out of here! All right, keep going just straight down this winding tunnel. Maybe the birthing place is somewhere in the sewer. I may stream DK Country Returns and Tropical Freeze someday, maybe. Tropical Freeze has a higher chance, because I actually... Ow, my bullet. I actually really like Tropical Freeze, whereas Returns I thought was the weakest in the Country series. Yzma's Grove. I have no idea if the thing's even going to be here. It says, aside, aside the source of acid blight. That's how the poem went. 
Maybe it's behind here. Ah. Actually, just to make sure. Definitely, it seems to be like a red wall riddle. Your grandma can't save you now. I have strength upgrades. Okay. Maybe it's nearby the grove? Oh, wait. Maybe this has a clue. No. Oh, that's right. This is where I beat Poop Man. Right? Or is that a different area? Okay, no. That's where Crying Lady is. I think so. I guess you could say it was our number two favorite spot. Yoo-hoo, mushroom! I would like a prize. Burp, 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 burp. Come on. Come on! Ooh. Secret passageway. Was there any purpose in that secret passageway? I don't know. We're back to where the bees are. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. But there is still acid around here, so... Oh wait, I don't want to go into the beehive. There's no acid in there. Down here a bit? Maybe? Oh, there he is! Hey, Dad. Shouldn't trust the eye they gave you. Rely on your own instincts. You, if you've got a keen nose, use it. And while you're hunting for secrets, beware those who are hunting you. Oh, excuse me. Alright, well, he kind of was near um, Yzma's Grove. I guess if we're here... I guess we were aside the source of the acid. Just in terms of space on the map. We just had to take a little bit of a detour to get around there. Alright. Well, cool, we found him. The next part of the poem was a glow in darkest winding depths. Okay, that's got to be the deep nest. That's got to. Ow, my butt! Oh, can we take the tram to deep nest? I think we can. Ow. Yeah, we don't have a nose. How discriminatory.
Maybe the burfing place will be here as well. Uh, Star Fox 64 would probably be a stream. Probably. So that's the Ancient Basin. It's definitely the best Star Fox game. One of my favorites. Throw a barrel roll! Alright. Unfortunately, where in the Deep Nest it is remains to be seen. But it looks like there is an area in the Deep Nest that we have yet to explore. We can go up from the exit to the Fungal Woods. There's at least some way to cut around. Ouch. 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 If that's the case, Hornet had a rather unfortunate home. Ooh, hot spring. Consider every word of the clue. A glow in darkest, winding depths. Okay. So it's a glowing spot in a very windy place. Unfortunately, there's a lot of windy places. I guess before we go... Rats, I can't go straight up. When it comes to windy places, it's either going to be on the far left side or right near the en the upper entrance to the Fungal Wastes. Because the Fungal Wastes entrance has a thing nearby that we have yet to explore, I think I'm going to head up there first. And this is why I kept the compass on. Here comes a spooky bunch. But man, I'm I love being able to one-shot pretty much every enemy in the game. That's really nice. Well, a lot of these areas are glowing. Yeah, interesting. Oh, there's no shortcut there? How unfortunate. Ow. Yep. I kind of regret saving Zote. He was a butt. And then he had a bunch of boss fights. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Hey, Galadivor, welcome! Yeah, we're on the hunt for this weird mushroom who left a large poem for us to follow to find him. Or someone did. And now I'm just trying to find a secret in the deep nest, and I believe he's here in the deep nest somewhere. Looking for a mushroom or a place I've never been. Uh, 
Alright, so it looks like we're not going to be able to reach that area from above. Yeesh. Hey, Macarena. Ow. 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 I should use my soul powers a little more, because I do just automatically get soul at this point from the... Get wrecked, scrub! The thing is, though, I don't... Okay, well that was just rude. You don't attack a man while he's looking at the map. Also, why did my nail not work on him? Yeah, we want to go this way. I'm hoping there's a way I can go through the ceiling in here, but I'm not counting. <laughs> Don't count on it! Oh. But maybe I can. I hate how those worm fiends make the same sound effect that the ground makes when you can do the shadow dash to destroy the floor underneath you. A scooby dooby dooby! I figured I was in the right map. Where else would it be but the deep nest? Ouch! He could be anywhere in the deep nest. Yeah, that really narrows it down, because thankfully the deep nest is such a small place. Sarcasm. Yeah, so, like, I can't jump up here, but there's clearly something up there. Oh, wait. I have... Oh, I'm dumb. I have found the way up there. It's just not worth it. Alright. It says, A glow in darkest winding depths. Oh, son of a... Was it... Well, let's see. Winding depths? I'm gonna guess that's over in the distant village. Because that's where you've got a part of the map that's clearly, like, winding around. Hmm. I wonder if speedrunners go for deep nest without the lantern. It could be like Zelda 2, where it's like, you can get for the game without getting the candle. It's just like, it's suicide if you are, if it's your first time playing it. It would be a lot harder to go for Hollow Knight without the lantern, because in Hollow Knight you just can't see anything if you don't have the lantern, whereas in Zelda 2 at the very least, you can see where you're going, you just can't see the enemies. I don't want a bench.
but I'll take it anyways. Hollow Knight's been fun. I mean, I wouldn't be playing it still if it wasn't. Man, that's a tough bugger. Alright, deepest winding depths. Wait, do you actually need the lantern to enter Crystal Peaks? Wait. There's <gasps> glowing in this room. Oh, here he is! Glad I decided to keep going. I wouldn't say this is winding depths, but alright. The dead can't make use of wealth in any case. What would they spend it on? Yes, a big brood like that. They need food, and shelter, and toys. If you keep some for yourself, well, I think you deserve it, yes. Oh, excuse me. Alright, Mr. Mushroom, next part of the poem was... Winds all howl above fossil stone steps. Winds all howl. Probably the howling cliffs. Cool, that's a much, much smaller area. Alright, where's the nearest way out of here? There's... Let's go to the stag station. How will we get there? Okay, I thought, I thought Mushroom Man was only going to show up in the fungal wastes because he's a mushroom. Oh wait, hey now on. Guys, I got a much better idea. Oh wait, no. Doggone it, I didn't want to set the waypoint, I wanted to travel to the waypoint. Oh, well. Oh, you can't interact with the Geogate without a lantern, I see. Oh, also, we never went to the resting grounds after getting 2,000... Essence. There may be another prize for us. Oh, shoot, I should not be here. I'd like to go up. Why are you being rude and not letting me go up? Stop spawning out of nowhere. Aha. Do 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 do. Wait, I haven't broken that wall down? Mr. Gorbachev, we must change that. Come on! Yeah, 
Yeah, take that. Probably won't use that shortcut again, but at least it's open now. Stack station up here. Can I wall jump? No. Let me ride. First we go to the resting grounds. Let's see if we get another prize. I hope so. We still have a couple badges left to get. Hello, miss. Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the Dream Nail. The Dream Nail has fully awoken, yet you still collect essence. Perhaps I've instilled an obsession in you. Keep at it, then. I'm happy to wait and watch your progress. Once you've collected 2,400 essence, return to me. I've no more gifts to give, but you'd hope your, you'd prove yourself the Wielder my tribe awaited. The kingdom's full of old memories, both beautiful and grotesque. Seek them out, reveal them, and gather essence. Oh, no more pr That's right, she said she had no more prizes. So anything we do at this point is purely for showing off. You probably have to defeat Zote all the remaining times in order to get the remaining essence. Alright. Stagnest. Alright, let's just poke around the Howling Cliffs somewhere. Surely we'll find the Mushroom Man. Alright. Winds all howl above fossil stone steps. Okay, that doesn't mean much to me. Maybe he's at the edge of the world. Okay, no, he's not at the edge of the world. There can't be that many places to look here, though. This is, like, the smallest world in the game, so... Hey, I never found all that geo deposit. Whee! Above fossil stone steps. I don't remember what that's referring to. But maybe somewhere in here. Just gotta poke around, I guess. <laughs> Could be down here. It's 
the really pretty area, but no mushroom. Wonderful. Oh, my bottom! Curiouser and curiouser. This might be what we end up doing for the entire stream. It better give me something good. Oh, it gives you the best thing ever. Satisfaction. Higher beans, uh, blasted planes, yeah. Hmm. Come on, this place isn't that big. Corpse of a large bug. Surprised that guy doesn't have a dream. I dream of genie, she's a light brown hair. Alright. Great. Still no closer to finding him. Okay, that leads to the ends of the earth. We can't go that way. Is this an area? I've, am I in an area I haven't explored yet? There's light shining down on that. Oh, this is where I got the Balder shell? I don't remember that. It looks like I'm I'm off the map right now. Oh wait. Oh, this is leading to Green Path. Oh, I don't want to go this way. This is where the mushroom is. No, he's not here. Ow! Right behind. I'm confused. I feel like I've explored the entire Howling Cliffs, and he's not here. And again, when it says on top of fossil stone steps, I have no idea what that means. Because there are a lot of steps here. I already went that way. It's probably hanging out just on some platform around here. I really should have been marking places on the map wherever there was a small key that needed to, or a small lock. 
Because now I don't know where that is either. Yeah, this better have, like, the best badge in the game at the end of it. Or one of the best badges. Because this is a huge amount of work. For what seems like very little payoff. Maybe he's hanging out on the bench. Oh, you're hanging out here? This is not on top of fossil stone steps. What a lie! What was called a hero in its moment may be called something very different after time has passed. The crimes and triumphs of our predecessors echo all around us, don't they? The chains of fate that bind us all together. Do you really want to break them? Oh, excuse me. This is not the top of the Howling Cliffs. There's still stuff above this. Alright, the next line is Monarch flies in air set still. Okay, I have no idea what that's talking about. Is there a Monarch enemy? Oh yeah, I forgot about False Knight. Haven't seen him in ages. Now that I have World Sense, I can see how many journal entries I still need in the lower right corner. Oh, I need seven... Seven more? Wait, on the top it says 150, but at the bottom it says 129. I'm confused. Oh. Well, we have the Monarch wings. Monarch flies in air set still. Air set still? Um... Where would the air be still? A bunch of different places it would probably be set still. Do I remember where I got it? Pfft, no. <laughs> Not even close. I remember I got the Super Grover Dash in the Crystal Peak. The Monarch Wings? I, I have no idea where I got that. I remember the horrible boss, the Lost Kin. Oh, that's right. I did freaking get it. That's right. I did get the Monarch Wings right after the Broken Vessel and right before Lost Kin. Because I had the Monarch Wings for Lost Kin, but not the first fight. Which kind of helped, but not really. Alright. So I 
get down there. I do not remember the 21st night of September. That's probably a reference I don't get. <laughs> we I bet speedrunners do crazy strats with the crystal dash. Alright. Oh, I know the song September. I don't remember that particular lyric. Mario! Say do you remember Mario? Dancing in September. He does not, but Luigi does. I always think of Elite Beat Agents when I go to that zone. The good kind of tear or the bad kind of tear? Probably the bad kind, because I, I think I cracked so much during that. Well, if things are getting too dangerous down there, maybe it's time to take a break. I feel called out. Come back up and spend some time hunting or gathering or wandering aimlessly. No, not too much longer now. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Marty. Ye well, yes. If I didn't like Hollow Knight, I wouldn't still be playing it 40 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, by the way. I'm so glad you found the Mafia game. We're trying to find a mushroom who's just kind of c moving all over the kingdom. Okay, so the next poem, which I definitely remember word for word, is To Root's Domain and Snail One Shrill. To Root's Domain and Snail Once Shrill. What the cuss? Super Grover is confused. Okay. Uh, I hope this turns into a mushroom boss fight like in Cave Story. Uh, Marty, wh don't just say my name all in caps. No, it's not. Water Worries is by far the most boring, humongous entertainment game. It's like a, it's like a hundred levels of the same thing, and it's very unfun to play. Yeah, I have no idea, so if, if you want to nudge me in the right direction... Don't just outright reveal it, but just give me a nudge. Also, Marty, how many levels of Water Worries did you play? Like, two? It'd be funny with Twitch. No, it wouldn't. Marty, you remember what we just recorded. We only had ten minutes of that, and I was, I was griping constantly. Do you really want ten hours of that? Root refers to the white lady who I met last stream. Uh... I met her for the first time last stream? What? 
Maybe you might be getting that. No promises, though. It's likely just because so many people are like, you gotta play it, but... Yeah, it's because those two games suck. What? So last stream... Your hint is gonna be coral-related? Oh, yeah, there was a character named Coral in this, not Professor Coral from Harry Potter. Uh, I mean, I beat up a ghost last stream, but I don't remember where that was. Uh, White ghost. Oh, was it the lady who gave me the other half of the king seal? Oh, where was that? That was near the... Oh, that was in the... That was in the Queen's Gardens area. Yeah, that was in Queen's Gardens, I believe. Whee! Here we go! <laughs> An adventure is something we promise is gonna excite you. Oh, doggone it. If I hadn't accidentally overridden my warp point, I could just warp there. I've never played Cheese Chase, and I've only played like five levels of Lost and Found. Two other humongous entertainment games I have not played on my channel. Along with a huge amount of the Blue's Clues games... Moon Base Commander, all of the Big Fingers games, the Buzzy games, basically everything. Okay, so we go around here. How many Booze Clues games do I own? Uh. I own the two Blue's Clues birthday games, because I got those for Christmas one year. Like, recently. <laughs> After I graduated college. Um, we have the Blue's Clues ABC time activities, and I think Blue's Clues 1, 2, 3 time activities. That may have been one of those random old PC games that I bought on a whim one time. Only played Blue's Birthday, and uh, YouTube did not like me playing them. At all. Here's Root's Domain. So Mushroom Man is in here somewhere. Merma. Within my roots, the weakening of the vessel I plainly feel. Only two obvious outcomes there are from such a thing. The first is inevitable on current course, regression, all minds relinquished to that pernicious plague. The second I find preferable, and would seek your aid in its occurrence, replacement. I implore you, usurp the vessel. Its supposed strength was ill-judged. It was tarnished by an idea instilled. But you, you are free of such blemishes. You could contain that fiend inside. 
My favorite Humongous Entertainment game always has been and always will be Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise. Pupput enters the race, Puppa goes to the moon, Spy Fox 1 and Pajama Sam 1 are also both very, very good. Also, uh, so Mushroom Man was not there. So, I'm at a loss again. To Roots, Domain, and Snail want Shrill. Well, there's Quirrell, I think. I don't I don't remember these characters' names. No, Burfa was a completely made up name that I pulled out of a hat. Because I didn't remember her actual name. That was part of the clue? What do you mean, part of the clue? Do I go to Root or not? Where have I met snails in this game? Um... Let's find out. Oh, it's Teleporting McGee! Coral is a blue bug. I don't remember most of the NPCs in this game, I'll be real. Uh, none of those resemble a snail. I will make a warp point here in case I have to go back. It's always snails who give you new spells. I think I got one in the overgrown mound, but I'm pretty sure that's a part of the uh, fog canyon, not here. But it is very close by my stomach. Oof. Yeah, this is definitely leaving the Queen's Gardens to Fog Canyon, but that is the nearest place where I got a spell, so... I also have found no possible use for those freaking rancid eggs. I feel like I should have found an NPC at this point who's like, Oh man, I love rancid eggs. Okay, sure enough, here he is. Oh, I haven't seen her? No, I'm sure you'll remember where you left her eventually. Trust the moon, or yourself, or trust her. You need to trust something, that's my point. Hmm? No, not him. No, absolutely not. I think I will trust Jesus. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Next up, Path of Worm at New Lands Entered. At Path of Worm. And worm is not spelled W-O-R-M, it's W-Y-R-M. 
which is something, a, a spelling I'd see out of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Okay. Path of Worm. Is there like a path of worm marked on the map somewhere, maybe? Uh, path of worm at new lands entered. Okay. New lands entered. Well, I mean, that describes pretty much every place that I've entered. Because every place is a new land. Except the abyss. Excuse me. Rude. of worm. Oh. <sighs> Would that be the abyss? If... No, the abyss is the old land. Yeah, I don't think it would be Ancient Bays and Abyss or Kingdom's Edge, because those are all kind of the old lands of the kingdom. Uh, not sure if I should be focusing on the Path of Worm or the New Lands Entered. Because all of these are old lands, right? Like, everything we've been exploring has been part of, like, the Old Kingdom. I don't know. I feel like I can rule out places where it's not, but I can't get any closer to guessing where it is. Also need to find the berfing place. Still no closer to getting there. Are you finally going to be useful at last? How have you been faring? Let me peer into you. I don't have any... What is this guy used for? Is this guy... If you visit him while your shade is out somewhere, he'll bring it back for you? Because he's been here the entire game and he's done nothing.
Boobies, pera, pera. Aclama, aclama Boobies. That young lass, why she's up and departed over the cliffs with only the briefest word of farewell. It's a perilous journey she set upon herself. I can't understand where she gained such fortitude. I thought her a timid sort, one after my own mind. How wrong I was, the call of adventure lures all but me. You can say if my guess is right or not, but if I'm wrong, don't tell me what he actually is used for. Unless it's something that, like, I really should have known by now. That's exactly what he does. Okay. <sighs> well, I'm stumped on the last mushroom vein, so I think in the meantime, I'm gonna try fighting Zote the Bloat again. At this point, every stream, I'm probably going to be fighting Zote the Bloat. I don't know why she's still here in his dream if, uh, she's not here anymore. So far, so good. Oh, what? Oh, I was doing so well. I was doing really well. But apparently, trying to do the down dash while his shockwave is up will get you hit by it. I forgot how much damage it deals. So much. Duck on it. The strength boost and quick slash together make this fight a lot more bearable. I'm sure they do know where the last clue is, but I don't. Also, hi Nintendo Addict, welcome. Yeah, this is Zote fight number five or six. 
which is far too many fights. I mean, I guess it would make sense if she's still here if this is Zote's dream, but I thought this was her dream. And she's like dreaming of him, and th that's why every time we beat him, she's like, wait. He's not as cool as I remember him being. Maybe they want me to figure it out for myself. I did mention no spoilers. Always, always dash the wrong direction when he does that. Also, if I if I equipped the badge that gives me extra power when I'm at one HP, that actually might be worth it. Truly, might be worth it. Wow, spawned on top of me. Shoot. <laughs> that was a close one. Yeah, Shadow Dash is definitely the way to go for this fight. Oh no! Rats. Okay, I'm actually gonna... Mm, yeah. Because he can just kill me so easily and I can't really heal that reliably, I'm gonna see if I can if equipping that low HP extra strength will just make him so much oh, uh, the bench may be iron. Yeah, yeah, I get I get it. Okay, yeah. No lone nail. Instead we're going to equip steady body. Oh wait, no, not steady. No, we definitely need that strength. I didn't realize this took up two. Okay, so no lone nail, so we'll have to be closer to him, but that's okay. Yeah, free damage. And if there's another fight after this one, he's going to apparently deal an additional one damage, so four damage, which means it will be a two-hit kill. Well, you know what? If I'm stuck and I'm still thinking it over, what can you do? It's a blind live stream of Hollow Knight. Which means there, we aren't always going to make as much progress as would be ideal. In fact, we very rarely will. Rats. 
rats. The worst attack is walking forwards. I mean, I wouldn't call him waving his sword in front of him and dashing at me full speed walking forwards. Also, I'm not sure if this boss has a worst attack. It's just kind of everything about him that makes him annoying. But yeah, this attack is probably my least favorite of his. Because it just kind of comes out of nowhere. Like that. Like, if he does that while you're right next to him and attacking, you're not dodging it. Mega Man 6, which had great, great boss fights like Plant Man and Dr. Uh... I was going to say Dr. Wily, no. Mr. X, that that was his name. He, he, Mr. X is not Dr. Wily, by the way. They're, they're com two completely different characters. Like Jekyll and Hyde. I cannot believe I avoided damage there. Because I didn't. Back here, you stupid... Alright. Okay. Okay, the problem is, even with the extra attack power, we still don't knock him down any faster. Would there eventually be a boss called Man-Man? <laughs> Maybe. I always thought that in the, in the Wii U version of Shovel Knight, they should have had Nightman from Mega Man 6 as a bonus boss and called him Man-Knight. It would have been perfect. Because, like, the P the PlayStation and Xbox releases of uh, Shovel Knight had their own bonus bosses that were, like, exclusive to that. But the Wii U version did not. Thank goodness he did that belly flop instead of the wave his sword around attack. No! Come on! He's doing way more damage than the final boss. That just doesn't seem right. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! That's not fair. Yeah, like that one. If if he does that, you're just screwed. If you're right next to him and he starts charging for that, there's not really any way to get away from him. Even if you do a max level dash and jump, like you're still probably going to take a hit. That's how fast it comes out. Huh? <laughs> 
Well, realistically, they should have stopped after just one. They should have... You fight, fight Zote in the arena, and then they should have had one of these Super Zote fights, not, like, 11 team. Come on! Work for me, Dash. You were charged up and everything. Five or six mushrooms I found this stream. the worst. That guy hopped as far away as possible and then hopped on top of him. You can look up the last two locations, just don't spoil them if I don't ask you for them. Look at that. That was like a frame one attack, pretty much. I'm also really missing my lone mail right about now. Oh, That was almost a near fiend. That one stupid hopping Zote Spider, he will not die. There we go. And so he immediately replaces him. Curse you. I can beat him. I've gotten really close, I think. Okay, if I get hit by Zote twice and, like, one of Zote's bugs once, I'll be at 1 HP. Then I just have to survive. didn't want to die to him that fast. Good lord. This guy should not be as hard as he is. 
The only reason he's hard is because they keep buffing his attack power, and that's it. If someone wants to give me a nudge in the right direction for the last mushroom, then that's fine. The word worm is always associated with king. Okay. I can I can maybe work with that. There we go! <laughs> Die, Zote! Please let that be the last freaking Zote battle. There have already been way too many. Nope, it's still freaking glowing! Are there like 20 freaking Zote battles? Okay, the game developers really just didn't know when to stop. They went way too much into that. Like, way too much. No, you know what? Forget the King's Soul. We gotta bring back the Spider Friends. Spider friends, spider friends. So I believe, yeah, Kane's Pass is back here, so... Makes sense to try that first, because it's small, and we're right here. And if Kane means worm... Let's try it. Ow, my butt. So there is another Zote battle, and he's going to deal 4 damage per hit, which is great. But that also means easier to take advantage of Fury in that battle. Oh, wow, he's here! Well, that worked out. It's not by tools that you'll triumph. It's through your smarts, your speed, your determination. Oh, I see. So you've been following me around, then. I hope my travels haven't confused your own, distracted you. Then again, a meandered journey still has meaning. It is, after all, from a journey we find our purpose. Though a stop is more than just a stop. And my, if those stops can't be lovely things, wouldn't you say? Transcendent plateaus, distant sandy lands, vast ancient kingdoms. 
Yours was not the first, nor will it be the last, but it's a unique and special thing nonetheless. Now with my duties here finished, it's time I made a graceful departure. Till next time, my friend. Tis a long road we tread, but a joyous one. Until our paths cross again. Um, is there seriously no reward for that? Like, not even a badge? Did you guys just make me wander around the entire kingdom for nothing? All this for a loaf of bread? I didn't even get a loaf of bread! All this for a loaf of bread? No, screw that! If I wa if I spent all that time wandering around, I want some kind of reward. That took the whole stream. That was even dumber than the flower side quest. At least the flower side quest gave us something. That was dumb. Very dumb. Alright, well, let's try... Before we end the stream, let's try the new Zote battle just one more time. Uh, part of me wants to get Lone Nail for this one. I know Sharp Shadow is... Actually, Sharp Shadow also frequently messed me up in that battle. With making me boost into the... So, I like Lone Nail. I like having that extra dash. There is kind of a reward, just not at this moment. That's very, very weird. He comes in at the final end and, like, he gets... takes on the corruption, not us. Alright, let's see what Zoe's all about. We may be able to implement the exact same strategy, because presumably he's going to deal four damage apiece. So if we take a hit from him and then get to heal once, maybe that would work. Oh, look! All these portraits of Zote. Mysterious, enchanting, vigorous, diligent, overwhelming, gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great Prince Zote. I don't want to heal. Wow! <laughs> Eat it, Zote! <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> There's still another one! Are you serious? Is it just eventually going to get to the point where he kills you in one hit? That would be colossally stupid. And here he is, still talking to nobody. Bishop Seven, more not the dead. When we die, do things get better for us or worse? There's no way to tell, so we shouldn't bother mourning or celebrating, for that matter. So basically, we did nothing this stream. At all. We followed a mushroom a bunch of times, and he didn't do it. He didn't actually, like, give us anything. And then we beat Zote twice, only for him to not give us anything. Should I quit while I'm ahead with that one shot on that Zote battle, or should I attempt Zote battle number 2020? Two. Hundred. Eighty-six million. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, this is, oh, this sucks. Don't, <laughs> this, this stream sucked. Don't you agree, Little Hollow Knight? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, you're right, Artie, yeah, that really was a sucky stream. Wow, I can't believe that all of this did nothing. Yeah, yeah, that was really bad, uh-huh, yeah, I totally agree. This is really stupid, yeah. 
In Zote 7, it will be harder to activate Fury, it's true. Nah, I'm quitting while I'm ahead. There's no way I'm going to one-shot the next Zote battle, so I think that that's just the perfect place to end it. Yeah, we we actually did nothing. Oh, no, 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 that's not true. We did find one Wanderer's Journal. And that's it. Literally nothing else was accomplished this stream at all. Wow. Ne yeah, next week, birth home or birthing room. Yeah, we did not find the birthing room at all. Or the birthing place, or however they put it. I have no idea where to go for that, so might need some people to ju nudge me in the right direction, but... We are- we have to finish up Hollow Knight. I am finishing up Hollow Knight by the end of August. Because come September, I don't care if I haven't technically done all of the stuff I can do in the game. I'm- I'm finishing and I'm doing Backyard Baseball. So, yeah. That's what's gonna happen. So, I will be playing this again next week. Monday and Wednesday, and then Saturday... Well, <laughs> Saturday, we're going to either play a randomizer or we're going to start a new stream series. So, look forward to that. Should be fun. Thank you all so much for joining in, and thank you for all of the hints that you gave. I appreciated that they were just gentle nudges and not just outright telling me where things were. I really appreciate that, and that definitely helped me out a lot. So, yep, yeah, it was great talking with you all. I wish you all a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.